Hello and welcome back. We are now having our next run with Tesla uh, with Tesla Foot and Untitled Goose Game Reverse Area Order. Say hello, Tesla. Hey, how's it going? And uh, yeah, you guys can call me Tas. Um, this is Untitled Goose Game. You have seen runs before by actually a previous runner, Rekelt, ran 100% at ESA Winter. Uh, this is reverse area order, so it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to beat the game backwards. And we'll be able to start things off right here. Uh, timing will begin on the first honk. So if everyone wants to count that down with me and give some honks in chat, that would be phenomenal. We'll go with a countdown from five, four, three, two, one, honk. Honk. So yeah, so if you've played Goose Game, you know you go through the garden, high street, back garden, pub, and then you grab the bell and take it home. We are going to do that backwards. We're going to go pub, back garden, high street, garden, and then we're going to go into the model village. Uh, we start off with a full gate clip here. One of the interesting things about Goose Game is that if you reset the game, the game thinks that you have opened the gate, even if you haven't, because uh, it doesn't understand why you would get to the game part of the game without getting through the tutorial gate. Uh, so we do reset in this run. It's just faster in two places. And because of that, we don't need to open the gate. It starts uh, off can like... I, can I quickly shout out a big sub bomb? Groundflyer has gifted 20 subs to the chat. Thank you very much for that big sub bomb. Nice. And all of those subs get counted double. So thank you again, double for that. Back to you. Yep. So because this is, we start off with any percent, we do that boot clip, uh, which is what they do in the any percent run to get into the pub. But now we have to actually beat the pub. And we have to do the gather task, which is setting the table, because we cannot do the pint glass in the canal. Uh, because we did not yet complete back garden, the, there is a giant invisible barrier preventing us from entering and getting to the canal. So we have to do all the other tasks, uh, and that is the one task that we're going to skip, because we just can't do it. Uh, and apologies if it sounds kind of loud. It just started massively raining and leading into thunderstorms outside my house. So I do apologize if you guys can hear that, but uh, we're gonna just pretend that it is some nice goose ambiance. Uh, we did not do any of the old man tasks yet because the timing didn't line up when we clipped in to the pub. So we're gonna do those as we do the set the table, starting off with making him fall on his butt. And then we're gonna set the table here, which it is longer than doing the canal uh, pint glass, but you know, as I said, we. We aren't able to do that. And we're going to wait. Pub Lady is eventually going to come over to put the toy boat back into its little sink here. And when she does that, we are going to honk, which is going to manipulate her and get her closer to where we're going to need her for her part of the final task, which is to move this yellow box of tomatoes out of the way. Uh, he is still sitting there. Okay. So we are like ahead of the normal timing that I have for this section, uh, but it's fine. She's in the general area. We're just going to make eye contact with her. You can't see it. It's behind the bush, but we're just staring at her. And that kind of also keeps her down here instead of running away. And yep, so now she's going to go and do her final task. Uh, box girl may or may not be getting in the way here, which uh, is sometimes why we refer to box girl as blocks girl because she just likes to block everyone else from the path that they are taking and she just gets in our way and causes all kinds of fun time loss make sure that the bouncer there can see us uh, and that way he will chase right away and he won't wonder where we went which means he just goes a little bit faster drop the bucket on his head and we are just about done with the pub as soon as his butt hits the ground we're gonna reset because it will still trigger right there. You can hear the sound of it triggering. And so there was an update to Goose Game uh, at some point post-launch, I don't remember which update, but basically it changed the game logic from, it used to be when the game first came out that if you reset an area, it would put you back into that same area every time. 
but they pushed an update to fix some glitches. So if you haven't completed an area, it puts you at your last or least completed area. I'm explaining that poorly, but uh, because we haven't completed the garden, it puts us back at the garden. Uh, we just do a little hover there. You just mash up the side. It's one of the first glitches that we found on like day three that this game was out. Um, but so we take advantage of that because if, if we were playing on like the 1.0 version of the game and we had reset in pub, we would have started back in pub again, which would not have helped us uh, because of all the invisible barriers. We would have been stuck there. But thankfully with this update, it now puts us into a much better spot. We keep the tomato here because we're just going to use it um, as a way to distract Roger. We refer to these guys as Roger and Tina. And it's just going to allow us to freely take this newspaper uh, without having to worry about him seeing it or chasing us. And then we need to clip two items. Uh, we need, there we go. We need to clip the hat and then we also need to clip the pipe uh, because we didn't get to take... Uh, there we go. We didn't get to take an item over. Uh, I think it, uh, it didn't clip very well through, which means he can probably grab the pipe back through the fence which is not ideal. So I just I, I just want to grab the pipe there just to make sure um, that he doesn't grab it back through the fence because that's just one of the most frustrating things that can happen in this game. I'm also afraid that the pipe was too far away, which can also happen. Okay. And we're also going to need a sock. The sock, for whatever reason, uh, clips really well through stuff, better than just about any other object. Um, especially this... Okay, we're just going to go over. We won't actually clip it through. Oh, no, we missed our cycle. That's unfortunate. Um, but for whatever reason, the sock, when you're grabbing it from the top of the sock as opposed to the bottom of the sock, clips really, really well. So we need a sock for getting into high street. Definitely unfortunate that we missed that cycle there. Cost us about 15 seconds. Um, hello. Hey, Tina. How's it going? Be great if you could go this way that is, like, not super slow. Thanks. They need to have that conversation. Uh, Goose Game has lots of priorities of NPCs, and if they have something on their priority list and you try to distract them with something lower on their priority list, they will, like chase after you, but then as soon as you stop making them aggravated, they will go back to that first priority. So you just, you really need to know the priorities that you're going through in this game and adhering to them. Uh, we're going to, we pecked that squirrel statue because that's what we wear, where we want her to be. And that has a really high priority, but we grab the vase and honk as just a way of stalling and distracting her for a little bit longer. And that cycle timing works out really well here. Uh, making him go barefoot, that's one of our tasks. Breaking the vase, another task. And that is going to be all of the stuff that we need to do for this area. Um, right. And so I'm going to use this sock. But I, I don't want her to see the sock. So as soon as we get this rose into position, we're fine. Uh... Right, so I want the tip. That's not good. Right, so I couldn't see what I was doing and accidentally dropped the sock over the, the other side. Uh, it's honestly my biggest complaint in this entire game is that when you have a completed task, you can't see what you're doing. It completely blocks the goose. Um, and then you just you have bad stuff that happens that's annoying. But anyway, we can back it up with uh, clipping out with the rose. So not a huge problem, just a little bit annoying. And it happens in a lot of places in a lot of categories where completing a task will cover up the goose and you can't see what you're doing. And I do really wish that those were translucent and I will continue to complain about that issue. I will also complain about this right here. Uh, this is the sock clip into High Street. And you would wonder why isn't it like easy like all of the other clips? Uh, and that is because there is a massive invisible barrier right here. Uh, to prevent you from getting out of High Street early. It's not really meant to prevent you from getting into High Street. Uh, yay, there we go. All right, that clip can take like minutes sometimes. It's really jank. 
Um, it's a really big invisible barrier. There's no real good setup for it, but that was relatively quick. Oh, the boy is in a great position, uh, exactly where we want him to be, because we're just going to honk him into the phone booth. But now we're going to do basically the old routing of High Street, where we have the boy buy back his plane. And the rest, the next two areas kind of are pretty straightforward. Uh, we drop a tomato here, to, again, to stall the, and the shopkeeper and keep her on the right side of her shop for as long as possible. Because uh, when we bring the boy over, we want her to be right near there. Also, there's a lot of times that can happen where just the timing doesn't work out well. And she winds up going to that price gun on the left side at the same time the boy is trying to get to his plane. And shopkeeper takes priority over the boy. So she just pushes the boy out of the way. And it's super frustrating and it loses time. So dropping the apple helps with that. Also, and again, we want him... Uh, right, so we're going to come through here specifically to distract and keep her right where we want him to be. There we go. And now we just have to wait a little bit, but we're going to grab this leak. This is, the leak has magic powers. All right, we're going to honk and that cancels out an animation of hers. Saves like five seconds. Yeah, we use the leak, the magic powers to lure her into the garage. We're gonna wait for three honks. And if we have any donations, great time for them. Well, currently no donations, but as I mentioned, the other ways you can support us with subscriptions, the excellent ninja, our Zephyr, has gifted five subs to the chat. So thank you very much for that. And you can those get all doubled by HyperX, our sponsor for this event. And you can do the same. Be generous, subscribe yourself, or even you just use Twitch Prime. They all get doubled. So thank you all for your support. So now that we're back into the garden, uh, this is very much like the beginning of the game. for a lot of different categories. So not too much exciting goes on here. There is one weird thing with the hat right here. Normally dropping this hat is like kind of precise, but not super precise. But for whatever reason, it is incredibly precise in this category. I think it has something to do with resetting and going to it. Uh, and I don't understand why, but I know that in practical experience, it just happens to be the case that it is it is so hard to get uh, Groundskeeper Willie to stop where you want him to stop in this category, whereas in other categories, it is not that difficult. Fun, fun aspects of running reverse area order. Uh, but we have a little bit of free time again right here, so we just grab a sandwich, you know, it's hungry. It's kind of lunchtime here in the United States, so uh, have a little snack. Munch on uh, PB and J, whatever we got here. And we've finished our four areas and we are moving on to the model village. Now I did grab the sandwich for a reason. It was not just to have a little mid run snack. We are going to use it to clip into the model village. Uh, because we've beaten all of the areas, there is no longer a giant invisible barrier on this gate. So uh, sandwich, a second try, clipping through with the sandwich. For whatever reason, even though it is tiny, the sandwich works really well for doing that clip. Uh, and now we're going to do some model village action. This is also similar to some other runs like all main tasks. Uh, also 100% in the middle at the end of the main game does this exact same sequence. Use little Timmy there, climb the bell tower, grab the bell. We are going to clip out with the bell now, the same place we clipped in with the sandwich, and that is going to wind up being our run. I hope you guys enjoyed reverse area order. I am very disappointed that none of you are donating. Please fix that right away so that there can be more ESA in the future. And as soon as we can get this clip, uh, if you've enjoyed Untitled Goose Game, please feel free to give me a follow. Uh, if you're interested in running the game, check out the speedrun.com page where there's guides, there's a link to the Discord. Uh, we don't honk too much, 
you know, appropriate levels of honks, but always happy to help new runners out. Uh, and yeah, this silly game uh, is a pretty fun speedrun. Full of RNG, full of AI manipulation, and depending on the category, full of lots and lots of glitches. Time is coming up, right time. Pretty, pretty darn good run, uh, I, if, I, if I gotta actually say. Uh, just over 14 minutes, I think, and thank you guys so much. Once again, I've been Tasselfoot. Uh, if you enjoy this stuff, I run Goose Game way too often. I uh, would love to have you guys uh, see more of it. You know, give me a follow, uh, check out Goose Game, and congrats to my fellow Goose Runners. Rekelt and Green Snow Dog for their runs just prior to this, and I hope you guys all continue with the rest of this animal block. Yes, thank uh. you, Tess, for that. It was amazing run, never seen reverse area order before. That was something, and well, as you mentioned, we will continue with Hello Kitty in our animal block, and after Hello Kitty, we have Street Boys. So. Stay tuned for all of that. And as you just mentioned, yes, if you donate, you are actually keeping ESA and other similar events alive because, you know, all the COVID-19 outbreak, we are trying to isolate ourselves, but staying safe, events get canceled, events get shifted. This is all a financial strain and we are trying our best to keep this whole thing going. So we came together for ESA together to collect some money and 